Yes, destiny is calling you and your purpose too. Destiny is calling, waiting just for you. We thank God for that selection coming from Evangelist Collada Davis. She is from Lincoln, Alabama. They're now residing in North Carolina, and she is producing CDs, and that is a great, wonderful uh, song that she's made. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our life, and thanking you for tuning in to another broadcast of the Word Ministries, hosted by yours truly, Pastor Billy Bedford. We have today with us Maria McHale Derry, and... Uh, Amen. And she is going to continue to introduce, amen, what God has given her. She is a real tea owner that wants to be a superwoman, <laughs> fighting obesity. Yes. If you've driven down Battle Street in Talladega over the last several months, your curiosity may have been piqued by the statue standing outside the old Bywise pharmacy building. The statue in question was put there by Maria Bacaldary, owner of Real Tea. The acronym in the name refers to Real Ingredient Effect, she explained. It represents a certain look, sort of a superwoman fighting obesity. That's what I want to do, want to help do for people. Mikhail Derry came back to Talladega and established a weight loss center here after spending time in California, studying sociology and minoring in physiology. She is working to compete, complete a degree in diet and nutrition, which brings her to her current endeavor. She spent years, she said, researching meal plans for people with diabetes, high blood pressure, and other health issues. She started experimenting with green tea just for fun and came upon a revelation. People using the tea in combination with the proper diet could lose three pounds in three days. I'm a living witness. I've made up, at this time of October 18th, she had made up 18,000 jugs of it since then, she said. She said, I weighed 150 pounds in high school. But I have not weighed over 115 pounds in the last 10 years. I'm sure someone would like to see those 150 high school pounds. I don't work out. I eat healthy. And I make sure to do something to get my heart beat up, she said. But that's it. The tea comes with meal plans, grocery lists, and most recently, a gym added on to the Battle Street shop. I give people the real tea, and it cleanses them and gives them energy. Yes, it does, she explained. I'm making up 200 gallons every three days and selling out every week. Mikhail Derry has online clients as far away as Huntsville and Atlanta and is planning to go nationwide soon. But the focus is on the complete fancy experiences locally. It's a fancy vibe with a fancy glass. That image out front is fancy. All ingredients are natural and organic. She said signing up with the program involves not only the tea, but also a seven-day meal plan grocery list, recipes, busy baby energy formula, sleep tea, and ground flax seeds. She makes all the tea herself. She says her clients have not only improved their blood pressure and diabetes, but have also reported improvements in everything from depression to thyroid conditions. Of course, always do what your doctor says, she added. Eat right and take your medication. But people's doctors have taken them off their diabetes and medication. Mikhail Derry puts the success of her product and her business firmly in God's hands. However, this is my dream and I owe it all to God, she said. I stepped out on faith and trusted on what he was doing. God made all this possible. A superwoman fighting obesity. Maria McCarrick, she's back with us today and we want to talk about a weight challenge that she's uh, given. Uh, when did this weight loss challenge start? The Apple a Day. Or the Apple just, a Day weight the loss The Apple challenge. a Day actually started this Monday, May 20th. 
We started this. It's a fiber-based, 1,500-calorie-a-day uh, diet. This was a diet that I actually done myself to start modeling. I put myself on this strict fiber-based diet within a month. As, he, as you heard him say prior, I was 50 pounds, I mean 150 pounds, uh, maybe 10 years, over 10 years ago. I have been under 115 pounds since then with consistent weight because of the lifestyle I've chose to make this a lifestyle, the nutrition and the, and the, and the fiber-based diet, and I wanted to implement it in this challenge this time. It's a 30-day challenge. We have our Apple a Day uh, private group page. Uh, we motivate, we inspire. You know, I give them meal plans, I give them boot camp instructions and uh, strict diets and competitions. We, we do food and we have competitions and win prizes and it's just incredible. But most importantly is to motivate. I've had three challenges since I actually have had this weight loss center within two years. And I'm going to do it more frequently because I feel like if I keep motivating, because some people fall off, they lose the weight and then they... They fall off, but if I keep doing the challenges, I feel like it's a constant motivation to where it becomes a lifestyle and a habit. And so that's my goal, you know, in doing these challenges is to, to, to be a motivation. Because a lot of times some people need that extra umph, that extra push to, to lose weight. You know, some people are depressed, they lost their loved ones, you know, they don't feel good about themselves, they had babies and feel like, oh, well, and they don't have the time. But when you're motivated and you're in a competition and you can win something, people are more prompt to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. So mm -hmm. that is the reason, the main focus, you know, in these challenges that I, I have been, been given out. Okay, I also would like to add, I plan to bring back the winner of the Weight Loss Challenge uh, back here for an interview and to be with her on this uh, broadcast. And uh, so we look forward to that. The Weight Loss start at May 20th. We'll end uh, the live uh, at June 20th. Uh, so we're grateful to that. And I'm sure uh, some questions that others may ask is uh, what made you decide to do this? The challenge or the, the weight loss product, the, in it, the whole thing? The whole thing. Well, as I had said in, uh, in last week's segment, in terms of, you know, just me merely caring about, about people, I was so, you know, fed up with people, you know, having issues and illnesses and fighting obesity and not knowing how to keep the weight off or keeping the weight off, you know. Some people, you know, it's harder for others. In the community that I live in, you know, it's a lot of obese people. And, you know, we have a lot of, of restaurants that, that, that <laughs> caters to, uh, you know, making you obese. And so, and I mean, and we have to congratulate those restaurants, but at the same time, people are struggling and they don't have any other outage. And so I wanted to step in and give them different, a, a different outlook of what to eat, you know, healthier that can make them lean and feel good and taste good at the same time. And so I was doing nutrition and giving out meal plans way before I was doing Ria T or Hair Weight Loss Center. I was giving out meal plans for free. I didn't add that, but yeah, I was doing that for free because I woke up one morning and this just desire to, to, to study anatomy and nutrition just, just fell on me, you mm -hmm. know, for, for the human body. And, and because I used to think about, man, you know, people back, way back in biblical days, they lived to see, you know, 300, 600, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I, I realized they were eating garden foods, you know, they were eating healthier, you know, raw foods and, and healthier mm -hmm. foods. And not that I just eat all raw foods, but anywho, it pushed me. And then when I asked God for purpose, and he just literally threw this tea in my lap, I jumped. And I don't mean to say this, but I have to give credit to where, where I, you know, those people that inspire me. Steve Harvey, actually, I heard him one day mm -hmm. saying that he asked God to give him purpose. And I tried it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I See. tried it. And I said, God, I'm not perfect. I'm really nobody. But if you love me, show me and give me purpose. And he did. And I saw an opportunity to lead people out of obesity and to help them and inspire, and I took mm -hmm. it for what it was worth. Mm -hmm. I seized the moment, and I usually tell people, seize the moment. If God gives you an opportunity, seize that, seize moment. that moment. Don't do yeah. it next week, don't say, no. If he give it to you right then, then seize the moment, and I seized the moment. I jumped, 
in Steve Harvey's words. I was scared, I was afraid, but I was like, God, if you gave it to me, this is open. This is an opportunity, it may never come back, so take it. And I did it and I gave it all I had and still trying to give it all that I have because this is my passion and I put my heart in this. It's more than just making money. It's changing lives for me. And so I think that has inspired me to continue and to branch off with this weight loss center and these challenges. Mm -hmm. We know May is Mental Health Awareness Month and many uh, out there are dealing with depression and they're wondering what to do and how did you get through it and uh, your story is a, it's a success <laughs> story but it came, it came at a price. Oh yeah, a definite it, price. I, I cried and I, I cried and I cried and I I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried and I was depressed and I was sad and I was depressed and I was sad until one day I cried enough. I said, well, I'm continually to cry. I'm complaining, I'm crying and praying, but I'm not praying the right things. I'm praying the sad story like, oh God, I'm hurting. Oh God, what is it? Da, da, da. I said, God, give me purpose. I ask, you know? And when he did, I didn't just sit there. I took advantage of the purpose he was trying to show me, of the gift that he was giving me, and I worked. Mm -hmm. Much planning, this isn't easy. You know, late nights, waking up, working hard. Work ethic also matters too. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta work, you gotta plan, you gotta think, you gotta go, 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 and give it all you have, because if you don't, you won't see any results. Mm -hmm. You so know, so if somebody out there that is depressed and sad, you know, the tears come because we're human. The pain comes because we're human. Mm -hmm. But when you're tired of that cry and when you're tired of that pain, you ask for change. And that's what I did. And God gave it to me. So that, that, and that inspires you to, to keep moving. Oh yeah, definitely, because I know this, this opportunity came from him. If I didn't think that it did, I wouldn't work so hard to show him, thank you, I want it. Don't take it away. Because just as sure as he gave it to me, he can take it away. So mm -hmm. I have to keep <laughs> letting him know that I'm grateful and I want it and I want to keep it and I want to expand it, you know? Mm -hmm. So that has made the difference for me. Okay, what, I know God was with you during your depression, but who, did you have, I know where you, maybe your mother or someone yeah. that was there to, Get you, help you get you through it to keep you from. Yes, I, ha I have had an opportunity to have a, a, a close knit family, friends, loved ones that uh, encouraged me, you know, and pushed me or gave me a phone call and was right there with me the whole time, you know, and believed in me, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a different thing for someone to believe in you when you're on top. Yeah. But when you yeah. have nothing and someone still believes in you, you know, I needed that, and I was, I, I'm was i grateful that God placed a few individuals in my life, and that's all I needed yeah. to do that for me. Okay. And I have an amazing praying mom. Yeah. So she, she really loves God, and, and that makes the difference, too. Okay. So, okay. yes. And what is your age? I am, I will be 33 June 10th. <laughs> yeah, young lady. <laughs> yes, I will be 33. Okay. And um, feel great. I thank God, you know, and I think it starts in the mind and, and, and I want to think young and think like I'm 12. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah. I try to think like it and act like it and, and try to live like it, okay. you know, vicariously. So. Uh -huh. what, is, what is your ultimate goal? Not, not just in the life, but just to help others. What is your, what is your ultimate goal? In, well, you know, I often ask God every day to allow me to be one of the greatest leaders of all time, to lead so many people out of obesity in so many ways, in an incredible way to where they feel good about it. You know, they're not like, ugh, I gotta do this to lose weight, I gotta do that to lose weight, or they're depressed, and some people quit trying to lose weight because it's not fun, and they feel like it's a must. Yeah, it is a must to lose weight, but you gotta make it a lifestyle and make it fun and not take it so serious, but serious, because your health is serious. Mm -hmm. But you gotta love the skin that you're in, but just want to be healthy. And when you think like that, it gradually happens. 
So I think that's my ultimate goal is to change people's mentality and to inspire them to want to keep the weight off, to lose weight, to feel great and feel fancy, as we say. Yeah, I got you. Uh-huh. So that's my goal. So eventually you plan to branch yes, out. Yes, I want to be my own self-made brand around the world. I want people from all ages, all around, celebrities and all, to want to follow my brand uh, one day. Yeah, not as a competition factor. No, as not a, as a competition. You know, because we are fancy. We drink fancy. I believe in what God gave me. You know, and whomever follow, whomever follow. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah. I'm not trying. It's some some amazing weight loss products out there. You know, and I, I can't compete. You know, I can only be me and put my all in my products and meal plans. That's all I can do, and that's all I will do, and I'll do it with all I have. Mm -hmm. So that makes the difference for me. Mm -hmm. I like one thing that she said, that she gave one ingredient out that's in the tea. You know, people, when they make something, they're not, they're not going to give you the ingredients. But I will give you one ingredient that she did give out that she, that's in that tea, and that's her heart. <laughs> And that's that. That's that's the one ingredient that 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 she put in it. That that you all know about it. That's that's what's in it. When you drink that tea, you know, know that her heart's in it. Yeah, and, definitely. And it and, it's, and prayers. And prayers, and it's to help help us. Yeah. So we're thankful. We look at her ultimate goal. Amen. Is to help help the world to fight obesity, and she's doing doing just that. It may have started out on Battle Street, but that's 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 just the start. But that's not where it's going to end. So, uh, why Apple a day? As I say, you know, I love the theme of Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, you know, Apple is very healthy for you. You know, much fiber. We all need fiber. Like a lot of my customers, or you know, some come with me with IBS or constipation problems. The Apple a day is kind of a, like a fiber diet, and it kind of cleanses in his own way of making you feel lighter and eating things that are not mm -hmm. subject to constipate you or keep you stopped up and to make you feel more leaner and, and amazing. And I love apples, so I'm obsessed with apples. I eat them every day, so I wanted mm -hmm. to kind of give people a little feel of my life, you know, so with apple, this challenge. They do have uh, health health. Absolutely, benefits. yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, uh, benefits when, oh. when it comes to apples, nutrients, and, and yes, definitely, okay. definitely beneficial. Someone may want to ask me, you know, what what do I do? You, t I think you read in, in your news article that that you don't work out. Well, no, I don't. Like sometimes I may say I may drive, I may park at Walmart all the way down at the bottom and walk uh -huh. and walk around Walmart. You know yeah, what I mean? I recommend that you have some type of physical activity. You know, at least you know small cardio five you know times a week. But I'm just telling you about me. Yeah. You know, I make uh -huh. sure that I'm active, but my nutrition, the way that I eat, my eating habits, I feel have made me lean, you know, and my mentality with it. I don't cheat, and if I do cheat, it's not, I count my calories. Yeah. I'm a calorie counter, I'm a sodium, a carb calorie, I'm in a, a counter. I, I, I count everything when I buy from some a bag of chips, I'm gonna look on the back, you know. Uh, uh -huh. I don't eat ice cream, I eat yogurt ice cream, but the leanest one there is. And if I just want ice cream, I get fat-free ice cream. Uh -huh. But so I'm always checking the back of the nutritional label on everything. So that's what I do I um, to lose weight. I mean, you know, to stay or, or to be consistent with the weight that I have, you know. And I do eat, I don't uh -huh. starve, uh -huh. you know, or that type of thing. It's just the way that I eat. It's become a lifestyle to where I have a routine. So basically, I would you would say to someone, if you keep your calories per day down, you, you should be okay. Absolutely, if you know how to count that, your, your calories, you know, you're eating lean, you know, I'm not tough on bread and sweets, you know, I don't, I don't really do that. I only, now, I haven't had any meat in 10 years besides fish. Well, and occasional turkey, but I let that go. So I'm, I'm a pescatarian. I eat fish, mm -hmm. veggies, and fruits, and nuts. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's been my diet for some time now. And uh, I love it. Uh, I like the fish simply because of the omega-3, you know, that's in the, that, that fatty omega-3 that you need. You know, and that's why I, I, I you got to have that for that vitamin D and that, that the, the vitamins and nutrients that you need. So 
I try to keep that inside me, you know, even with the nuts. They have omega-3 from my almonds to walnuts, you know, mm -hmm. and they can act as that type of meaty substance for you. Oh, as well. Nuts mm -hmm. can? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. What type of nuts? Uh, almonds, walnuts, almonds, you walnuts. know, even pistachios, uh -huh. you know. Okay. You know, they, they have omega-3 in it and they act as if that, that oil that you need. Okay. That healthy oil that you need. Okay. So, definitely, you know. What type of fish? So some people have issues okay. with... Okay. Um, salmon, tuna, mackerel, sardines, cod, white fish, you know, okay. different fishes of that nature, that's, that's the type of fish that I eat or prefer. Less on mercury as much as possible because there okay. are some fish that are, that have a lot of mercury in it, so. That's not good for you? No, okay. not too much, not con uh -huh. in, in consumption, but yeah, so. Okay, so. Uh, I'm trying to think of some questions that you may would ask ask her because I know you're interested in the challenge of, of losing weight. It's, it's it, it is a challenge because every, everybody everybody uh, someone would dream to be 150 pounds. Yes. But you know what what she done and kept it's, it. And I I, I want to know. I want them to know since you were trying to find a question. You know, a lot of people mentally get upset because they think about going on the beach and. They want to wear their two-piece and, and different things of that nature. And um, they have this image of this small person in their head all the time. And they look in the mirror, and they may never get there. But that uh -huh. doesn't mean that they're not fancy or yeah. that they're not appropriate. The thing is your cholesterol levels being good, your sugar levels being good, you know, your blood pressure being stable, that you're eating healthy, and that you feel great, and that your numbers when you go to the doctor that's what matters the most. You lose weight in the process because you need to. You know, you don't want, you know, that heavy on your heart or that cholesterol around your heart because it could, it could risk, make the risk of heart attacks and strokes and different other things. The thing is trying to be healthy, not trying to have this image of a body that we all think of being beautiful. Being beautiful is, is healthy and you have to start with inside of you, you know, in terms of being uh -huh. beautiful. You know, a size zero doesn't define your beauty. Right. No, you define your beauty. And, and being healthy and being around long for your family, for your sake, that makes the difference. I don't make any promises, but I make provisions in my tea. And that's to curb the appetite, to give you energy, and to flush you. I can give you those yeah. provisions, but I don't make you promises. Okay, but... But I can tell you that when I say I don't make you promises because I, I see a lot of people make promises, you know. I know, I just rather just let you experience it and let me That's know. It. We yeah. have great re weight loss results, over 2,000 results of weight loss. Uh -huh. But I don't want you to buy into what I tell you. I want the tea to make you come back, you know. I yeah. want you to look at nutrition for yourself or what it is. I can't sell nutrition. I can tell you nutrition. Nutrition's been here, you know. Yeah. God gave us nutrition. You know, it's up to you to take it and, and to do what it is that I, the instructions that me or, or anyone else that's trying to teach you nutrition to do. And I think that, that your results will be amazing if you do so. Okay, and to the audience out there, if you have any questions, uh, uh, just give us a call at that number that appears under the bottom of your screen. If you have questions for her, I will pass them on to her and get back with you uh, w with an answer because I know you're, you're interested in, in, in what she's doing and this is a great, great uh, opportunity and it's, it's gonna help, help others. The, the little change I made, I, was, I began to get texts and calls and say, wait, what, what, what did you do? And I, and I can refer them to the T. I can refer them to the, to the energy. So uh, in other words, I say that to say this, what you do inspires others. It may be little, but it's it's a lot to some people uh, to see you making a change. It, it helps it helps others. Maria has helped people that she don't even know because uh, when she when she helps somebody else make a make a change, somebody that know that person will ask them what did they do to make that change. And I've had people come up and say I'm, I'm going over there and get me some of that tea. I saw you on Facebook uh, in that tea challenge. And I'm gonna go in and get me some. So that 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 inspires me. 
you know, to know that someone is 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 actually uh, inspired by what you do, and that's what we're we're for. Part of the purpose that God made us here for is to be an inspiration to others, and uh, she's an inspiration to many, and 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 those that she inspire, others are inspired. So we're we're thankful and, and grateful for that, and. I want to ask this also question, are you still making improvements as, as you go? You still looking, for, if, if something comes up that you can improve that team even more? You oh, absolutely. It? I'm always like, I, I always send out surveys every now and then asking, is this, is, is it curbing your appetite the way you like it? If it? Is it giving you enough energy? I just boosted up the energy just a little bit in the, in the tea. And uh, all these ingredients in here are absolutely from me. You know, I, I put them all in here. You know, I, I've researched, you know, from the, like I said, it's green tea base, you know. So I'm constantly trying to add and take away or figure out what to what to what to where I can give it to actually the perfection that I want it to be, you know. So, yeah. And even thinking of other things to do, you know, as well. So flavors and all. There will be different things in the future, you know, okay. from flavors to uh, different boosts and everything in the, in the, in the tea, so. And yeah. also, I, I don't have this much trouble in this area, but I did have, I did, I do need the energy. But there are many out there that have trouble sleeping at night. She also has a sleep tea, mm -hmm. and it's it's natural. Yes, and, uh, like a baby. You may take some other things, sleeping pills and dodos and all of those things. If they're not working for you, I, I would advise you to try the sleep tea, and. Uh, and go with the results. That's what I did when I went over and tried the tea. Uh, I, went to, I went with the results. I, I, and if you got questions, just just ask her. I, things weren't, when it wasn't just gelling out just right for me, so I called up and asked her, when is a, uh, cause she had said take it at like 10 a.m. or 10 between 10 and 11 a.m. I asked why. And she gave me a reason why. And one of the things it does, it, it, uh, it's a good time to do it and it curbs your appetite. By doing it then, it took me over into the uh, in the evening, and I wasn't hungry. So there's always a purpose for when she tells you, to, advises you to do something. There's a purpose behind it. There's a reason behind it. So we're thankful and grateful for you tuning in to this broadcast, and we're grateful for you. And God bless you. And God keep you. See you later.